guess that's all locked up tight now, as it should be. Uh, hi there, Jody. Oh, hi, Sam. Well, everything's all safe down here. Let's go upstairs. Okay. A hand with him isn't too heavy. No, no, I can manage fine. Thank you. <laughs> well, we're on our way to the children's department once again. Uh -huh. Okay, it's clear. The customers have all gone home now. Today's special, come join in the fun With magic everywhere A world for us to share And friendly faces hoping that you want to meet us there For today's special, it's about to appear It's about to appear Today's special Shout it loud and clear Today's special Today's special is Phil's visit <sighs> What a night we've been having Jeff and I got upset Muffy got sad And Sam got awfully angry Do you know why? Well, all because a man drank too much alcohol Do you know what alcohol is? Well, it's what's in beer or wine or liquor. Most grown-ups are very careful when they drink alcohol and they make sure that they don't drink too much. But there are some grown-ups that have a drinking problem. Too much alcohol can make them say or do things to other people that really aren't very nice. They don't mean it, but they do it. Maybe you know someone that's happened to. Well, that's what happened here tonight. Funny thing is, one hour ago, we all thought this was going to be one of the most exciting nights that we'd ever had in the store. Okay, now look at this. Oh, oh. is it okay? <laughs> is it okay? It's fabulous, I'd say. Jody, the whole children's department looks fantastic. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Okay. Children's department. Oh, hi, Sam. He is? Right now? <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell her. Bye-bye. Interesting combination of Jody, he's here. Sam's gonna let him in. Oh, just imagine Store Makers Magazine is doing an article on my displays. <laughs> and they're sending one of their best photographers to shoot it. Oh, that's right, Phil Finelli. Oh, he's photographed stores all over the world. Well, his job is to travel and take pictures, too? Oh, now there's a job I'd like to do. <laughs> well, Muffy, I didn't know you wanted to be a photographer. Yeah, mm. she's been taking photographs all around the store. She's getting good, too. Oh, well, the day will come when no one laughs each time I show my photographs. Aw. <laughs> oh, speaking of photographs, I hope I'm ready because Phil said he might want me in some of his shots. I'll give you a hand there. Oh, no, thanks. I can manage. Boy, mm. my assistant is off sick tonight. Oh, well, yeah. isn't this a lovely store? Mm. I'll get some fine shots here, I can tell you. Oh, Phil Finelli, photographer oh, with flair. Pleased to meet you. Sam Crenshaw, security guard with the uh, cat. <laughs> Not the Sam Crenshaw of the Merchant Marine. Well, blistering barnacles, how did you know that? Well, we crewed together on the old Ida Bell. We did? Sure, well, don't you remember we used to sit on deck on night watch and see who could count the most stars? We... Oh, yeah, no, I don't remember. Did we do that? Yeah, and do you remember that in the Gulf of Mexico we'd swim with the dolphins swimming beside us? Now I remember you. You're the fellow we couldn't find. We, we thought you'd fallen overboard. <laughs> and all the time you were up a deck there uh, having a nap in the lifeboat. <laughs> yep, that's me. Yeah, sure, I remember. Well, nice to meet you again. Listen, remember that silver flask I used to carry? Oh, yeah. Well, what do you say to a drink for old time's sake? A toast to the Ida Bell. 
No, actually, there I'm going to have to say no thanks a lot. As a matter of fact, if you've got alcohol in that flask there, I must tell you that when we don't allow drinking of alcohol in the store. It's a store policy. So I'd appreciate it if you just kind of put that flask back in your pocket again. Yeah, well, well, say no more, Sam. Just lead the way to the children's department. All righty then. Hoist anchor and follow me. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain Crenshaw. All righty then. <laughs> hey, isn't it a coincidence meeting after all these years? Isn't it, though? I remember the night we sailed into Halifax. Here's the old Ida Bell, the ship Sam and Phil sailed on. Can you remember where Phil was sleeping when Sam thought he'd fallen overboard? In the wheelhouse? In a lifeboat? Or in a deck chair? It was here, in a lifeboat. If you remembered, good for you. Oh, I still can't believe this. My displays are being photographed by Phil Finelli? <laughs> Jody, you've done a fabulous job here. We're going to get some excellent shots. Well, see, Mr. Finelli, if you don't mind, could I just sort of tag along behind? I'd like to watch the things you do, and maybe I'll pick up a trick or two. Mm. Well, now, Muffy, you don't want to bother, Mr. Finelli. It's no yeah. bother, Sam. Muffy, a mouse as charming and as talented as you deserves more than to just tag along. How would you like to be my assistant for tonight? We'll work together as a team. As a team, we too, oh, a dream come true. That's the ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Muffy and Finelli, photographers with flair. <laughs> when someone needs a photo, who will you find there? Muffy and Finelli, photographers with flair. You find them at the simplest or the fanciest to fear. Muffy and Finelli, photographers with flair. You give a holler, I'll give a hoot. There isn't any photograph that we can shoot. Of, of all those who take photos, there's none that can compare with Muffy and Finelli, photographers with flair. Oh. Oh, oh. Who can take my picture as I hang light through the air? Muffy and Finelli, photographers with flair. If the subject's common or if the subject's rare, call, call Muffy and Finelli, photographers with flair. Our pictures make you happy, they never make you glum. Just be a little patient and someday your prints will come. Oh, <laughs> that's a good joke. Of all those who take photos, there's none that can compare With, with Muffy and Finelli, that pair extraordinaire Muffy and Finelli, photographers with flair! <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, everyone. I'd better go off and do my rounds. I'll stop by later and see ya. <laughs> oh, is there anything that we can do to help? I'll say there is. I want you both in the photos. Ooh. Oh, Jody, do you have any suitable outfits that would go with these displays? Oh, I sure do. I have just the things. Come on, Jeff, right. let's go. <laughs> oh. oh, please tell me what to do uh, so I can be of some help to you. Very good, Muffy. Look, I'm just going to the washroom to, 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 to wash my hands because I wouldn't like to smudge the lenses, you know. Oh. And while I'm at it, you can get my things out of this camera bag. Oh, whatever you say, I'll do it right away. That's the ticket. I'll be right back, Muffy. Yeah, he even asked Muffy to be his assistant, you know. Oh, Samuel Crenshaw, I ought to box you up and send you parcel post. Tumbling tuna fish, Mrs. P, what did I do? Do you mean to tell me that Phil Finelli is in our store and you neglected to inform me? Oh, well, uh... On the face of it, uh, yes, that's so. Why, don't you know he's famous the world over for, for discovering beautiful women in the most ordinary of places? Oh, yes. Well, no, I didn't know that. Oh, yes! He finds them in bus stops and laundromats and soda fountains and... 
possibly even in department store stock rooms. Oh, well, uh, well, he'll probably be right down then. <laughs> oh, Mr. Crenshaw! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and to think he's a friend of yours. Oh, you must be so proud. Uh, yes, 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 I am. Uh, oh. uh, yeah. <laughs> As long as he keeps that flask of his in his pocket. <laughs> oh, 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 be sure to let me know if he's coming my way! Shalu! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'm a little nervous about all of this. How do we look, Muffy? Oh, you look like pictures I've seen in a fashion magazine. Oh, I wish Phil would hurry up. Where did he go, Muffy? Well, first he went to wash his hands. He came back, and then, uh, after we set up, he left to wash his hands again. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. You two look great. Oh, yeah. we're going to get some sensational shots. Now, I want you to stand by this display here, and when I say action, just move around any way you feel, okay? Let me test this. Five. <laughs> now, one, two, three, action! What did you think, partner? Well, I can state that they look great. <laughs> oh, do you really think so, Muffy? Yeah. Oh, come on, Muffy. You're just saying that. No, I agree with you. You both look terrific. Now, how about changing into some sports gear while my partner and I reset the lamps and the cameras? Okay, we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Muffy, why don't you reload this camera while I fix something over oh, here? Right away, without delay. <laughs> oh, What film speed will we need? Oh, Muffy, you startled me. You uh, caught me with my breath spray. Well, from what my little nose can tell, that is not a breath spray smell. I guess Sam didn't say before, but you can't drink alcohol in the store. Well, I don't know the reasons why, but he'll explain when he comes by. Now, just a moment, Muffy. You're not going to tell on me, are you? You're not going to be a snitch and tattletale about your old friend, Phil, because I think that would be a big mistake, Muffy Mouse. Oh, something's changed. It's plain to see, because right now you're frightening me. I am? Well, I, I didn't mean to do that, Muffy. It's just that if Sam even thought I'd been drinking, he'd throw me out of the store quicker than you could say mozzarella. Oh. And then... I wouldn't be able to take Jody's pictures, would I? Oh. One of the biggest nights of her life would be ruined just because of you. Oh. No, you don't want that, do you? No, I, I wouldn't. I, I couldn't. Of course you couldn't. She's your friend. Yeah. Now, listen, Muffy. Suppose we forget this breath spray thing. Suppose we keep it a secret between ourselves, between partners. What do you say? Oh, uh, I say, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, I knew I could count on you, Muffy. That's the ticket. Well, come on, let's set the lights up before they get back here. Well, uh, I think I need a, a little snack. You, you start the lights. I'll be right back. Right. <sighs> oh, although I said I want a snack, oh, I don't need food or drink. 
Before the other two get back, I need time to think. If I tell Sam what Phil just did, he'll get very mad. And then Phil will have to leave the store. And then Jody will get sad. But if I just keep quiet, Phil will drink the whole night long. And though he says it's secret, I should tell. I know it's wrong. No, oh, should I tell or should I not? I don't know what to do. This is most confusing and, and most upsetting, too. Well, I think that I won't tell for now. Uh, nothing's what I'll say. And then, maybe if I'm lucky, uh, this whole thing will just go away. Yeah. Well, how's the shoot going, Phil? Sam, you startled me. The shoot's oh, going sorry. fine. It's excellent. Uh, oh, good. Uh, oh. Here I am. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi there, Muffy. Well, how you enjoy working with Phil here? <laughs> Are you learning any secrets? Oh, sure she is. <laughs> but one thing about photographers, we keep our secrets. Right, partner? Well, yes, I guess. Oh, sure. <laughs> I understand. Muffy and Finelli. <laughs> Why wait until I tell TXL about that? <laughs> well, I'll see you later then. Bye now. <laughs> That's the ticket, Muffy. We're back. I'm sorry we took so long. Oh, you could have taken more time. The zipper is stuck on this camera bag. Well, Phil, maybe I could have a try. Oh, uh, be my guest. <sighs> see, Phil. Are you, are you feeling all right? You, your face looks a little red. Well, I do feel a, a bit warm, Jeff, but I, but I feel fine. Here, Muffy, let me have a try. Now, how did you do that? Well, as you see, easily. <laughs> easily, is it? Are you trying to make old Phil look foolish in front of your friends? Oh. Well, uh, normally, my assistant takes care of this. Well, it wasn't very hard to do. Uh, I was only helping you. Oh, and you did, Muffy. Phil was only joking, weren't you, Phil? <laughs> of course I was. All right, everybody. Who's ready to shoot some pictures? Right. Action. Here are four camera bags. Phil has asked Muffy to bring the one that's second smallest. Which one should she bring? It's this one. It's smaller than these two, but larger than this one. So it's second smallest. If you found it, you've helped Muffy. Muffy, where are you? We found the right bag. <laughs> Looks like Muffy found it too. <laughs> oh, I do so love it when the toy shipment comes in. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, Sam! <laughs> Oh, flaming fruit trees, Mrs. Pennypecker. Look at you. Oh, when is Phil coming my way? Shall I expect him soon? Oh, well, uh, no, actually. He's just finishing in the toy department upstairs, oh. but I'll certainly mention you to him on my rounds. Oh, thank you, Samuel. I so want to be part of the shoot. Oh, oh. Photographers with flair. When you want a photo, who should you call there? Muffy and Flanny. Photograph. Flanny? <laughs> Did I say Flanny? Ah. Muffy, where are they? Oh, well, they're making sure that they'll both look spiffy. They'll be here in half a jiffy. That's the tickets. That's the. Now, listen. While we're waiting, why don't you move that dragon a little bit to the left, if you don't mind, if you please. You, oh, you just say when it's okay. Uh, stop. No, not that way. The other way, to my left. No, no, no. no, no you moved it too far. Oh. Move it back. Over. 
What are you thinking of? Oh, I'm just trying to do what you asked me to. Well, you're not trying hard enough. Your voice sounds strange. I have to ask, have you been drinking from that flask? If I were you, Muffy, I'd mind my own business and just do like I've asked you and move that thing over. Now, come on, move it over. More. more. No, stop. You've gone too far again. No, back. Over. What's the matter with you? Well, just say which way. That way, that way. Back, that way. Oh, no, you've done it. Oh, well, I didn't know which way to go. Some helper you are. Get out of the way. I'll do it myself. Oh, oh. Oh. Muffy, look what you made me do. Look at this mess. You've ruined the whole shoot. You've ruined everything. The whole evening is wasted. Oh, please, oh, please. You needn't shout. I only tried to help you out. Well, you didn't try hard enough. Now get out of here. I don't want to ever see you again. Oh, oh, this breaks my little heart. I should have told Sam from the start. Hi, Muffy. <laughs> Hey, hey, slow down. Look what your mouse friend has done. Oh, Jeff, call Sam right away. I've got to go find Muffy. Oh, I left him sitting on the floor. He doesn't like me anymore. Bubbling bilge water. I warned him not to drink in the store. Oh, and he'll be madder now as well because he said I shouldn't tell. You... No, Muffy, you did the right thing. It doesn't matter if he said you shouldn't tell. Why, if something upsets you, you should always tell me. Or Jeff, or Jody, or any grown-up you trust. Why, they'll try and help you. I've brought the whole shoot to a halt. I wrecked it all. It's all my fault. Now, you listen to me, Muffy Mouse. It's not your fault at all. It's only Phil's fault in the way he drinks alcohol. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Hello, security. Hi, Sam. Oh, hi, Jeff. Can you come up to the children's department right away? Uh, all right, I'll be right there. Uh, it's about Phil. Yes, I know. Muffy told me. She's there with you? Yes, she's right here right now. It's funny. Where did she get to so fast? So maybe I did blow off a little steam. <laughs> you call this a little? Well, can you blame me? Anyway, I, I don't think Muffy's too upset. She's very upset, Phil, and so am I. Well, I just couldn't work with her. I mean, she's a mouse was too much of a problem. Muffy wasn't your problem, Phil. Alcohol is your problem. You use it wrongly. You drink too much. Me? <laughs> Alcohol? It was Muffy, I tell you. No, Phil, it was you. You have a drinking problem, and it's your problem. So stop blaming Muffy. She tried her best tonight. Proud to be helping you. Flattered you called her your partner. Why, she gave you her friendship, and you just, just broke her heart. No, I did. I really hurt Muffy. You really hurt her, Phil. I've never seen her so upset. Oh, I guess I owe her an apology. Where is the little sweetheart? I better set things right. Well, apologies won't set things right, Phil. You've got to stop drinking. Besides, I'm, I'm not sure that Muffy cares to see you again. And frankly, neither do I. Now, I want you to pack your things and then get out of the store. Now. <laughs> When Phil arrived, what fun we had. Oh, oh, how did I make him so mad? Oh, you didn't do anything, Muffy. Phil did. Oh. Phil has a drinking problem. He drinks too much alcohol and it makes him act in ways that aren't very nice. Mm -hmm. But it's not your fault. It's Phil's. Well, before he drinks another drop, I wish that I could make him stop. Oh, I wish you could too, Muffy, but you can't. His family and his friends can give him their love and support, but only one person can make Phil stop drinking, and that's Phil himself. Oh, 
And though the shoot is at an end, you're not mad? You're still my friend? We can sing and laugh and play just like every other day? Oh, of course we can, Muffy. Oh, I'll always be your friend. Come on. Well, Sam, I'm sorry. Me too, Phil. Muffy, Jody, oh, I'm glad you came. I want to apologize for what happened tonight. And I especially want to apologize to you, Muffy, because you were really a wonderful helper. It was me who made the mistakes. And thanks to all of you, I've finally realized that I have a drinking problem. I'm only sorry I had to hurt and disappoint you to find that out. Starting from tonight, I'm, I'm going to try and do something about it. Oh, I, I know, I know it won't be easy, but I'm going to try. Gee, from what I heard Phil just say, very soon he'll be okay. Muffy, no. No, it won't be soon. And it may be never. Some people can get better from a drinking problem, but some people can't. But whatever happens, it's up to Phil. I hope he makes it. You do? Yeah, me too. Too late for the shoot. <laughs> That's what happened to us tonight. Really wasn't a very happy time for any of us. Oh, Muffy was so sad and disappointed. She's feeling better now, though. In fact, she asked Jeff if he would help her write a letter to Phil saying she hopes that maybe one day they could be friends again. And Sam's feeling better now, too. But he was very angry with a friend of his for behaving so badly. And Mrs. Pennypacker is also feeling better. Muffy said that she would take some practice photos of her later on tonight. Oh, I am so glad that Muffy told us what was going on, even though Phil warned her not to. You know, you must never be afraid to tell a grown-up that you trust anything at all that bothers you. Well, I guess I can't leave my display looking like this, can I? I'm gonna have to come up with something else right away. Hey, maybe Muffy has some photographs that I could use. You know, I bet she does. Oh, maybe she's even got one of Mrs. Pennypacker. <laughs> Muffy! Muffy, I need your help! 